native prairie plant has long been used for cattle grazing. But someday, switchgrass will fuel our cars. And so this is a, a crop that we can use to grow our own energy. Plant geneticist Ken Vogel leads a team of researchers from the USDA's Agricultural Research Service and the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. The goal, developing the techniques and switchgrass varieties to produce cellulosic ethanol from prairie grass. We've always been pioneers, and so we're kind of pioneering the use of this crop for uh, use in the future. One bale of switchgrass could produce a 55-gallon barrel of ethanol. Research by Vogel's team shows that converting switchgrass to ethanol yields far more energy than it takes to grow, harvest, and process it. Switchgrass uh, produces 5.4 times more energy out than it takes to produce it, and that includes the energy to produce the steel to produce the tractor that was used to plant the field. So it is very net energy positive. Switchgrass is a perennial, so it doesn't have to be planted every year. It's ideal for marginal cropland that isn't suitable for corn or soybeans. And it helps reduce harmful carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by capturing and storing carbon. So you're basically recycling carbon when you're burning uh, ethanol produced by plants. The other thing, this plant has as much root system below ground as it does uh, plant material above ground and all that root system below ground is sequestering carbon. Farmers and rural communities stand to benefit economically. It's really good for rural America in a lot of ways. It helps the farmer, it helps the small towns, it helps the, the local communities. A native grass from Nebraska fields could provide needed energy to fuel the future.